Uh, hello there, my name is Mark Armitage. I'm the shop manager here in Liffey Mills in Ennis. Uh, I'm also one of the responsible persons here for uh, animal health products. Uh, today we're going to do a short little video on um, animal health products, uh, mainly around fly control in, in cows uh, outside grazing. Um, so uh, why are flies an issue uh, at grazing? So the, the main flies that we're concerned about at grazing are horn flies, face flies and head flies. Uh, and there's also a warble fly as well that used to be a bigger issue um, back in the day but it's not so much an issue now. Um, horn flies uh, are the most common fly that we see out in farms. They're very similar to the, your common house fly. Um, they are found mainly around the, the side and the backs of cows. Uh, and during uh, high temperatures they're found underneath the belly uh, of cows. They, um, they can be vectors for summer mastitis, so controlling them is quite important to us because we don't want uh, animals picking up summer mastitis. Um, other uh, flies we're concerned about are um, face flies and head flies. Uh, these, funnily enough, are found around the face and head area of the, um, of the cows. Uh, and the face flies can actually pierce the skin around the eyes uh, and leave the eyes susceptible to picking up um, pink eye. Uh, again, it's something we don't want our animals to pick up, so we want to keep some sort of control on them. Flies um, are also a nuisance to animals, so having good control of, uh, of flies uh, on cows gives them a better quality of life, uh, which in turn will help make them more productive uh, and um, yeah, happier livestock. Uh, so what way do we control lice? Uh, so we get this question a lot in Liffey's, uh, how do we control lice? Uh, there's sort of a couple of different ways of doing it. You can use your pyrethroid porons, which is sort of the traditional way. Um, another way that we've seen an increase in popularity is using a garlic mineral lick. Uh, so we stock the Chrysalix garlic, which is a mineral lick. Um, so it contains the full minerals for, for the animals, for the cows. It also contains a uh, uh, about 5% garlic in it. Garlic contains a product called acetylene, which um, is a sulfur containing compound that is sort of a natural insecticide, um, so it'll keep flies away. The, the bucket sort of works two ways. Uh, taking the lid off the bucket sort of releases the garlic aroma around the area, um, and it sort of works like a, a citronella candle, um, whereas it's a deterrent for flies, stop them coming into the field. Uh, also, uh, as I said, it is a mineral lick, so when cows or animals start licking it, um, the garlic goes into their body, it goes into their bloodstream, and when, if a fly does come and attack them, um, um, the garlic sort of taste off their blood is sort of a deterrent to the flies again, so it'll keep them away too. Uh, it also contains minerals and vitamins. Um, the addition of zinc in it helps strengthen the skin, the dermal layer of the animal, uh, and that will um, create sort of a natural barrier, uh, making it a bit more difficult for a, a fly to attack the, the host. Um, the, other, the other way, the more traditional way of doing it was with a, a pyrethroid poron. So we stock a wide range of products. Um, we have the spot on here, uh, we have ectospec, we have lifespan, uh, and we have butox. Uh, all these are porons. Uh, a couple of the other branches also stock in, in, in another couple of products like Dectospot and the likes of that. But these guys offer uh, a four to eight week window of protection against flies. Um, they're quite simple to use. Um, a lot of them come with applicator guns. Uh, generally, uh, with them, it's a 10 mil per, per animal. With the Butox, it requires a slightly different rate. Um, but for any information on rates and different products, your best port of call is to call your local Liffey Mills branch and talk to responsible persons in that branch. They'll be able to um, show you what products will, will work for your situation uh, and they'll be able to talk through rates and everything as well. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks a million for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're interested in watching any more of these videos, be sure to give us a, a like or leave a comment on the video. Um, we hope to be doing more in the future. Uh, our next video that we'll be doing will be on lungworm in cows. Um, uh, so yeah, thanks again for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or queries on anything that was brought up in the video or you want more information on any of the products I have around here, um, 
be sure to contact your local Liffey Mills branch. As I said before, there's a responsible person in every branch um, that have been trained to deal with any of these products that we stock. So uh, thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.